Hey, this is Doctor Who Series 11, or Season 11, for you guys out there. Um, episode 4, Arachnoids. And what do I think about it? It was an alright show. I think it still needs to work on hitting their stride a little bit. It's slowly getting there, but, you know, I would like to see them in better situations. But anyway, here's the, here's the, uh, here's the episode. At the beginning of the episode, it opens up at this big hotel, right? And you see this jerk hole of a hotel manager guy he's like nine hotels all around the world and crap you know he's like an entrepreneur prick guy and he's got a bodyguard with a gun an indian woman walks in says sir i'm ready we're, we're ready for the grand opening and blah 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 and he goes you're fired basically all right she's like what well you're fired you did a you did a crappy job and then this other lady comes in and goes sir we got a problem in the the hotel manager guy, the like guru guy, is uh, you know the big giant money shot millionaire, is uh, going. Well, you have an hour to fix it, right? And she mysteriously disappears. She dies from something basically, and then it cuts to the doctor and her friends uh, showing up in Sheffield again. You know, because that's the whole point of these last three episodes was to get them. You know, she was to get them home, right? That's what she achieved. They show up in yet in front of Yaz's apartment. You know, the the Indian chick. Um, so they, uh, Graham, uh, Ryan, and Yaz <coughs> show up in front of her apartment, right? In front of her apartment building. And Graham decides to go home to grieve over the loss of his wife. And Ryan and Yaz and the doctor go into their to Yaz's apartment for tea. And while this is going on. Right in the middle, while they're running for the going to the apartment, they meet this lady, right? Who's trying to get into the her friend's apartment, right? She doesn't have the key. She's like all frantic and crap. There's like big spider webs, and you know it's kind of like it hints at it, and you know whatnot. And uh, so she gets in there, and it's just covered with spider webs, man. Just like it's like if a spider web, it's like it's, it's, I I can't describe it. If like if it, it was just covered, you know, just covered like you were walking into a web itself. So they go there and they find her friend covered in a huge spider web, right? She's dead. She's suffocating. For those of you who don't know, spiders suffocate their prey. All right? They get caught in the web and they get trapped and they get wrapped up. That's what happens, right? And so the doctor's like, this ain't normal. And she sees big spider webs, you know. And, uh... Then all of a sudden they find this huge spider underneath one of the like turntables or something, I don't know. And spider comes out and pincers and all that and starts going all crazy and nuts and the doctor has some kind of garlic and water and you know, she explains that they don't like it and all that kind of stuff and it stays put and eventually they end up capturing it. Right? And while they capture it, she goes up to the lady and finds out that the lady says, You ain't telling me the truth, lady. What's going on? Right? And uh, so, um, anyway, oh, before that, they go to Yaz's apartment and have food and notice a bunch of spider webs, and then they finally get in the key, and then the events where I said where the spider showed up, and they capture it, and then um, all that. So, anyway, you find out that she's a researcher. Right, and uh, that they've been researching spiders and they grow and all that kind of stuff because you know, as long as they're alive, they grow, as long as they can eat, they can grow. So, there you go with that. There's a huge spiders, and the doctor's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. You know, it's some ain't right up in these parts, is what she's thinking. Um, so she's got to figure it out, all right. So, anyway, cut back to the big hotel. Yaz's mom calls after she got sacked. She goes, Cook, please pick me up. You know? And then they find she gets there with the daughter with the uh, daughter gets there and he's at the main manager, hotel manager dude still acting like a prick, you know. Sorry for these words, but they're bad. Um, he's still acting like a prick, you know, like a dumb, like a dumb dumb or whatever. Um, and uh, he's like, You're fired, get out of here, blah 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 and Next thing you know, he hears a noise, and they go into the bathroom, and this big spider comes out and takes out his bodyguard, right? And then takes the bodyguard, you know, 
And then it comes out of the freaking... Actually, the spider comes out of the bathtub because the big old jerk guy was afraid and takes out his bodyguard. So it kills him. Boom. Dead. Right? So the doctor finds out after, you know, figuring out what's going on, let's go to the hotel because that's where the center of it is. You know, you know, as the doctor doesn't like to kill anything, they all find out basically it's a big spider's web thingy, and there's a the hotel is basically built on a landfill and mining, mining, and that's why the spiders are feeding and growing bigger. You know, and uh, so they decide to deal with that by finding out that there's a safe room because the manager guy is like, there's a safe room, so they all go to the safe room, and the doctor has an idea to use music. Or vibration to get the spiders to get to the safe room. Then she's like, "We're gonna deal with a big ass mother spider later." So all the spiders go into the safe room where they can't escape, so where they can die, you know. And the mother spider ends up getting really huge because you know Graham and and Ryan were sent on a separate mission to find that thing and to kind of find out where it is to draw it out. And it's up on the ceiling. It comes down. It chases them. It doesn't get them. Right. So. You know, they end up dealing with those other spiders, and um, this episode was kind of all over the place. I kind of was like in and out of it. Um, they end up dealing with the big spider. She ends up dying on her own because she doesn't have enough air to breathe. I mean, it was honestly, it was an all right episode. I mean, it was all right. You know, they'll hit their stride. I am in it, okay? I truly believe, even though this is all over the place, and I'm not like... I'm just pointing out some of the things that got my attention, you know. If an episode has got my full attention, I'll remember every detail. But they'll hit their stride. I really truly do. They'll, I truly believe that they'll hit their stride at some point, you know. Because these are like first four episodes and they're all starting to get their feet wet. But at the end, after they solve the spider problem and they get rid of all that, the... <coughs> The people go into the doctor's box, you know, the um, the phone booth, and they all decide to go with her, you know. So they're now her companions. So they're like TARDIS fam, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I'm not there's there is some political stuff in it, you know, but I'm not going to go into that, you know. It's kind of like there's some, you know, they're not as hard as like Supergirl, but they mentioned some political stuff in there. Uh, I'm going to leave that out let you guys pick which which side you want to be on whatever but it was a decent episode i mean it didn't it didn't scare me like the weeping angels did a little bit you know but again you know they've got to find their stride and i i, I truly believe that it will happen at some point um it was a good episode but it didn't make me go oh wow you know like in the past doctors to be honest but uh like i said my favorite doctor of all time is David Tennant, you know, he was just freaking phenomenal, but uh, anyway, that's my review of the episode, it was decent, you know, I wouldn't let little kids watch it, if you're afraid of spiders, I wouldn't watch it, because they're like huge and stuff, um, it, it was it was decent, I mean, I'll still keep watching it, but, you know, because I wanted to find a stride, and I believe she will, so they just need to write better episodes around her, and to allow her talents to come out more, because I know it's in there. I know it's in there. All right, this is Crazy Dave. I'm going to sign out. I love you guys very much. Bye. Sorry for the darkness.